Hi Kitty Me Awesome, I'm Ava J and this is Bookish Pixie. So it's not a coincidence that most writers often happen to be really avid readers. But every once in a while I'll see writers say something to the effect of, oh I don't really have time to read or there isn't much out there that I really like to read and to be honest, that's a problem. The thing about reading for writers is that it's not optional. I'm paraphrasing here, but Stephen King once said, if you don't have the time to read, then you don't have the tools to write. And that's something that I found personally is completely true. I have learned so much about writing from reading and not just reading anything, but reading in the category and genre I write in. When you read widely, both within your category and genre and out, you learn all sorts of stylistic tools and tips as far as character development, pacing, voice, just about everything you need to know to write your book is available in other people's books. Not only that, but you can learn different styles that you may have not thought that you would have liked. For example, I never thought I'd really get dual point of view writing until I read Across the Universe by Beth Revis and other dual point of view books. I also never would have thought that I'd like sci-fi until I read said Beth Revis trilogy, and now I not only write sci-fi, but I also write dual point of view. So reading. The other thing that's important about reading for writers is that you need to know what's already out there. Knowing the market is extremely important both while you're writing and while you're querying. You should be aware of how other books in your genre have sold, what tropes are out there, what's already common, what's popular, and what's not. And I mean that doesn't mean that if somebody already wrote a book with a similar idea to one you have that you can't write it, but it's important to know that it's there so you don't end up rewriting basically the same thing. Reading for writers isn't just something we do for fun although that can be part of it. Reading gives writers the tools they need to write their own awesome books, and it also gives them the awareness of the market they'll need when they enter the publishing world themselves. So if you're a writer and you don't think you have the time to read, it's definitely in your best interest to make time. As for me, well, I'll take any excuse I can get. So that's all I've got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you guys next week.